अब हमारे साथ बेहद खास मेहमान हैं विनीता बाली फॉर्मर सी ओ मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ब्रिटानिया इंडस्ट्रीज मैं आपसे विनीता जी ये समझना चाहूँगी कि इस तरह की जो सामाजिक दायित्वों की मुहिम होती है वो कितनी अहम हो जाती है कि किसी परिवार को लोन भी मिले लेकिन उसकी जो गरिमा सम्मान है वो भी बना रहे और ख़ास तौर से शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में जो लोग काम कर रहे हैं संस्थाएँ काम कर रही हैं उनको ऐसी योजनाएँ कितनी मजबूती दे सकती हैं थैंक यू दीदी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जो आपने प्रश्न पूछा है वो बहुत अहमियत रखता है क्योंकि इस समय जो चैलेंज है भारत का वो ये है कि पहले तो जो जो स्टूडेंट स्कूल में है उनके लिए उनके परिवार के लिए बहुत कठिनाई की बात है कि इस आर्थिक स्थिति में वो स्टूडेंट्स को स्कूल में नहीं रख सकते और खास करके जैसे आपने कहा गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स बहुत सी हैं गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स जिनको स्कूल छोड़ना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि उनके पेरेंट्स सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकते तो आपने और भी एक बात बात कही जो उनकी डिग्निटी है जो उनका सम्मान है कैसे रिस्पेक्टफुली उनकी मदद की जाए क्योंकि जो आ, मेरे एक्सपीरियंस में जो मैंने एक्सपीरियंस किया है वो ये है कि जो ये पेरेंट्स हैं दे वॉन्ट डिग्निटी दे वॉन्ट एज मच रिस्पेक्ट एज एनी ऑफ आस तो उनके लिए अगर हम ये सहूलियत कर दें कि उनको इंटरेस्ट फी लोन दिया जा रहा है या जैसे डॉक्टर यूनस ने कहा और भी अगर कोई जो प्रो, प्रोग्राम्स हैं उनके लिए ये इतनी मदद की बात होगी और उनके परिवार के लिए ये इतनी बड़ी बात होगी कि वो अपने बेटे बेटियों को स्कूल में रख सकते हैं जी so vinita bali social investing is also sustainable isn't it that's the key point it's a sustainable way of making a difference right. to society but coming back to education again that focus when families face terrible hardships we've seen from the recent experience that is the education of the girls in the family that is sacrificed first in the long run isn't that the most damaging to our society because educating girls has such a positive effect on on our environment on the environment we see the women much more active in politics in everyday life you see in a change in india so educating other girl child is probably the most important factor that will cause the biggest change in our society right dr roy i couldn't agree with you more i think education of uh, boys and girls and especially girls is so critical for the future india that we want to create and let me give you a specific example so it's not just conceptual you know in the several visits i made in part of my nutrition work etc to schools in rural india in tier 2 tier 3 cities one of the things that it comes across very clearly is that the mother is very clear that she will do whatever it takes to ensure that her daughter doesn't have the life that she led now that mother could be working in an agricultural field she could be coming and cooking in her homes whatever the mothers are doing they are very clear that the way out of this drudgery is education and therefore they are willing to go to any extent to send their girls to school if you speak to the girls themselves and you look at their aspiration and you look at their ambition and you just ask any of them what is it that they want to do you know they say things like they want to serve the country they want to become a scientist they want to you know nobody says i want to be in business and make lots of money which by the way is quite intriguing but they want to be teachers they want to join the army they you know so it is so essential and i think it is so unfair that at a time like this we have to pull our students our children out of school and as we've already seen you know the estimates are 6 million children have been pulled out of the school system and primary schools during this pandemic of which there is a higher proportion of girls and therefore initiatives like this one become so critical and so important yeah and therefore people like us have to participate to make sure that the future of this country and the aspirations of our children are met uh ma'am so many small businesses have been destroyed families have been hit by financial setbacks 
The other benefit of social investment and interest-free loans is that it asks nothing of them in return. And so it removes all potentially, you know, exploitative situations. Tell us about that, how that's a key part of making this work. You know, I think that's a very important part of making this work. We somehow, sh we should not assume, and I've got first-hand experience on this, that, you know, the poor are waiting for our charity. They are not. They are waiting for our support. They are waiting for our help. They have dignity, they have respect, and they are willing to work hard. You know, nobody wants to sit at home and live on charity. They want jobs. I think part of what we can also do is to give them that confidence, to give them that comfort that at this difficult time, they don't have to sacrifice the education of their children. And through these loans and through this, you know, this whole concept of social impact investing or whatever we might, whatever name we want to give to it, it is one way of keeping their dignity intact, of making sure that their children are not deprived of an education just because we are going through this hardship. And this is also a time for the rest of us to come forward and say, this is our India, this is our future, and if we don't invest in it now, what is the kind of India we're going to end up creating? Sure. I, I think that's so important to remember. What is the kind of India that we really want? Vinita Bali, thank you so much for joining us. It's always wonderful speaking to you. You've, of course, also chaired uh, the Governing Council of Wellems Girls School, so your connect with education is immediate, and it gives you a, a, you know, a real understanding of the crisis that we are in presently. Thanks once again, ma'am, for being with us thank you. this evening. Thank you.